Hey there, rock stars. Sarah Rock and Robbins here, author of the best selling book, Rock Your Network Marketing Business. Shout out below if you've read the book. I'd love to see your comments below. And of course, creator of the best selling CD series, Rock. Uh, Rocks are recruiting school, which you can find on my site at sarahrobbins.com, and my new one for leaders, the Masterclass Edition. All right, guys, who is out there? Shout out rock stars who's tuning in. Tell me where you're tuning in from. I would love to give a big shout out and hello to all of you. Hello to my friend Art. Um, hi, Mary Beth. Hey, Lisa. Guys, I just want to remind you that you can click the share button to share this into your team Facebook groups so they can watch live as well. Remember, the more who go up and show up, then the more, of course, your team grows as well. Thank you, Kirsty. Uh, she said she loves the book. She gets it for all the rock stars on her team. They make great gifts for newbies and, of course, great promotion gifts as well. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about three-way calling. Okay, so first I wanna do a poll and I want you to be honest. Drop a yes in the comments below or a why if you are using three-way calls for your team. Drop a why or a yes below. Drop an N or a no below if you're not. And if you're super brave, maybe tell me why. Okay. I have a second poll for you too, as you guys are just kind of uh, commenting below. My question for you is, do you love them? Do you hate them? Be super honest. And again, if you're brave enough, you can tell me why too. If you love them, drop a one in the comments below. If you hate them, drop a two. I want you to be super honest. And if you're not quite sure, because of course you're not doing them yet, go ahead and drop a three below and hopefully, Today's talk will have you changing your tune if you're a two or you're a three because I use them and I love them and I coach three-way calling to my team. All right, guys, we have a team of hundreds of thousands of rock stars in our organization and um, we are growing at a really rapid pace. I am one of the top recruiters and have been for the past 10 years. So I know that this is a tool that really, really works. So first and foremost, let's talk a little bit about three-way calling, what it is, and why I believe it works. Then I'm gonna teach you how to do three-way calls powerfully, professionally, and um, super, super short as well. And um, then I'm gonna give you a little bit more in terms of tips as well, scheduling, et cetera, okay? And hopefully help some of you guys that are saying, I'm not using them, I don't like them. Here's why, again, I hope to help you change your tune a little bit. You guys trust me? Who's ready for this? If you're ready, then drop a heart in the comments below and let's go ahead and let's get started. So three-way calling, basically what it is, for those of you that are brand new to it or to the concept, um, essentially what it is, it's an opportunity for your guest who wants to learn more about your business and your products to connect with a successful leader or of course somebody in your upline, your sponsor, to learn more and to make a decision. Now here's the thing, I was a number two. I really, I wasn't using three-way calls in the beginning and to be honest, I thought they were super cheesy. I kinda thought like, who the heck needs to have a phone call with somebody else to make a decision? Um, so I can totally relate. If you're one of those people who says, you know, I'm kind of hesitant and here's why, I was there myself. But here's what I found out since I learned more and I really became a student of our profession. It wasn't about having to convince somebody. It wasn't because I wasn't good enough at explaining it, but there was something about third party validation and social proof that was a total game changer for the people that I was talking with. You know, I want you to think about it, it's just human nature, it's psychology, that when we see that somebody else loves something too, all of a sudden it becomes a little bit more interesting to us. It really engages us in our intention. So I give this analogy when I train my team, I'm like, it's like the purple purse theory. Like there could be this purple purse on sale. Okay, so ladies, like you're, you're tracking with me, right? There could be this purple purse that's on sale, it's on the clearance table, and you could look at it one time and you're like, okay, well that's kind of cute, okay? Um, and then you walk away and then you see another lady walk up to it and you're like, shoot, there's only one left, I should get it. 
but what would happen if a swarm of ladies came to that purple purse? Whether or not you really wanted it, it's kind of creating that validation for you and that urgency like, oh my gosh, I've got to get that purse. And before you know it, all of a sudden you're walking around with that purple purse, okay? There's something about that validation, that third party validation, that social proof that happens. And I also believe too that for new consultants, it's a really great tool as you're kind of learning what to say, how to say it, how to handle objections, answer questions, and really conquer the close in those conversations. So I believe that they're super powerful. And basically how it works is this. You set up a time with both your um, upline, so it could be your sponsor or successful leader in your upline, and the prospect, the person who is wanting to hear more about your products or opportunity to learn more. Basically what you do is you're gonna connect them on a phone call and you will make an introduction from the new person to the, to the leader and the leader to the prospect, okay? And then basically you're gonna listen, learn, and um, you're going to hear more. Now, you know, I'm not gonna explain to you really the kind of technical pieces of how to connect on a three-way call, but basically just Google three-way call on a, on a iPhone and you'll learn how to merge the call. So basically just Google how to do it. It's like an old fashioned party line, right? Um, my parents met on a party line, by the way, and they've been married for decades now, which is really incredible. Um, but you can figure out how the actual logistics work. But I always recommend that you, if you're um, bringing somebody to a three-way call yourself, you are the one to initiate the phone call. So this way, when your leader drops off the line, you can then turn around and say to the guest, you know, what did you think? What are your thoughts? And you guys are still... Um, connected. Now, I appreciate the honesty in the comments. Some of the people say, you know, I didn't like, you know, doing a three-way call, etc. But again, hopefully today's talk will change your mind a little bit. It's all in how you do it. So basically, how do I use three-way calls? I use three-way calls more as a closing call. So basically what I do is, you know, I tell my team, make sure your prospect is pre-qualified. They should already be engaged and interested. They are willing participants. They want to learn more about our company, about our product. So we're not surprised calling anybody, okay? Because I don't, you know, I always say people don't have, um, they're, they're not so worried that, well, basically, what are the, is the right word that I'm looking for? You know, people don't have a, pro, that, that, what people have a problem with, I guess I should put it this way, is if you have some sort of hidden agenda, you know, so just be clear what you're looking for up front. So I tell my team, make sure that they've been to an event or to a coffee, or you've chatted with them on the phone, you've shared your story, you've shared your company story a bit, and they say, yes, I'm interested in learning more. And then basically they can say, great, you know, next steps is I'd love to introduce you on a phone call to my business. Sarah, she's been doing this, uh, my business partner, Sarah, she's been doing this for a while. Um, she'll be able to share more, answer your questions, and hopefully, you know, in hearing her perspective and her story and her experience, you can make a, a, a decision that you best feel comfortable with. And then basically, somebody's going to make an introduction from me to them and them to me, okay? Now, on that call, I'm assuming as the leader that they already know a little bit about the business. This is not their first time hearing about it, okay? Okay. So basically, my team has, uh, you know, at least sent them a website, a, a call that they can listen to, they've been to an event, etc. Okay, so they know a little bit about the company, they're ex interested, they're excited to hear more. And I, as a leader, would say this, as, you know, the introduction has made it, and, and let me take a step back, I hope you don't mind, I'm jumping around a little bit. When that introduction is made, I always tell my team member, make sure you make the guest feel really good. Like, you do not need to paint me out to be like, you know, the top income earner of the entire world, right? Because here's the thing that happens. Number one, it's like they, they, I'm not relatable anymore, right? It doesn't matter how big my story is, it's just not relatable. But number two, it diminishes the value of the person that we're trying to get to know us, love us, and trust us and join us in business. So I always say, make the grand introduction about the guest. Tell me how awesome they are, why you believe that they'd be an incredible fit at our business, and then just introduce me as your business partner, Sarah, your friend, Sarah, who's been doing this for a while, and I've got a great story that I would love to share, okay? That's it for the introductions. Make it all about the guests. Build them up, okay? All right, so. Now that introductions are out of the way, now what I'm going to say is the leader is, you know, Kim, I heard incredible things about you. 
go ahead and tell me what intrigues you most about our opportunity or about our products. Now, this is a million dollar tip for you guys. Are you ready? Tune in, okay? I used to say, hey Kim, tell me all about yourself. Now here was the problem. My three-way calls were lasting for like an hour at a time. And I don't know about you guys, but I build this business around a toddler's nap schedule. I mean, a multi-million dollar business around a toddler's nap schedule, okay? <laughs> and so I don't have time for one hour phone calls. When I would say, you know, tell me all about yourself, it got super awkward for the prospect. And they're like, well, what do you wanna know? And then they were telling me their life story, the cat, the dog, the, the, the car, the cow, and then eventually it was like a bad country song, okay? And it was just super awkward. But I really shaved down on the time of my calls. I now do them in about 15 minutes when I shifted the conversation to the prospect and I would say, so Kim, I heard great things about you from Natalia. Kim, I heard great things about you from Natalia. She told me all about you. She shared with me your background. So tell me what intrigues you most about our company. Insert your company name there, okay? This way, it allowed the prospect to talk first, but tell me what intrigued them most about our opportunity I'm listening and taking notes, and if they're talking all about product, you better believe that I'm gonna focus my conversation a lot on product. If they're talking about the comp plan, that's what I'm gonna make sure that I highlight. If they say, well, I'm super busy and I'm looking to do this in part-time hours, I'm gonna make sure that I share that in my story. So instead of saying, tell me all about you, I'll say, you know, Natalia told me all about you, Kim. Tell me what intrigues you most about our company. And then I'm gonna listen. And then I'm going to reconnect back to Kim and say something like, you know, Kim, that's what intrigued me too, the ability to do this in part-time hours around a full-time busy life. You know, I started this with a full-time job. I've got a little toddler now. I would love to share with you my experience and my story. And basically what I do here is I share my story. Now I give tips on how to literally write your business story in my book, Write Your Network Marketing Business, and also on my blog at sarahrobbins.com. But basically I'm gonna share a little bit more about my story. And as I share my story, my experience with the company, I'm gonna weave in a little bit more talking points about the company, but also things that Kim said she was interested in as well. I keep that part, my story super brief, and then I'll say to Kim, now Kim, enough about me, today is all about you. I want you to tell me what questions you have and what you'd like to learn more about. You know, I'd like for you to really steer the remainder of our conversation. So again, Kim, what intrigues you? She told me and I'll say, oh my gosh, that's what intrigued me too. I'll look for commonality, I'll connect. Let me share with you my story or my experience. Tell my story, the company story, and then I'll say, enough about me. Today is all about you, Kim, and helping you to make a decision. Tell me what questions you have. What would you like to learn more about? I'm gonna let you steer the conversation from here. And then I listen. Doesn't that make the call easy instead of having to have some super long script? And this is where I listen to Kim's questions and I handle any objections. And I do give tips on handling objections in my book, but also on my blog as well, sarahrobbins.com. Okay? Now, throughout the remainder of that time, I'm gonna answer questions, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna handle objections, and then I'm gonna help my consultant, my team member, to conquer the close. You know, if, if you didn't hear this training, by the way, I think I've got like, um, on all of the sites that it's been posted on, near a half million views on one five minute video. It's one of the most powerful ones I did and it's five minutes, it's called Conquering the Close. If you go to sarahrobbins.com, just type in Conquering the Close under the search bar and you'll find it. But it teaches you how I close people in literally a five minute training. And again, we've got a really rapid growing team. But at the end, I always say, you have not if you ask not, so I'll say, you know, Kim, Natalia's been telling me amazing things and we do believe that you'd be a tremendous asset to our team. Here's why I agree, here's what, here's, here's what I see in you. And then I'm gonna tell her, we'd love to have you as a part of our fun and fast growing team and now is the perfect time to join. This is where I'll create some urgency. You know, our company just had our convention. We just launched some incredible products. We've got a great new bonus program for new consultants. You know, you wanna join sooner rather than later. Let's all look at our calendars, schedule an enrollment appointment, when works for you guys, either sometime later tonight or tomorrow. If she still needs more information, 
We're going to email some information and schedule the next follow-up call within 24 to 48 hours. If she's not interested in the business and she says, you know what, I wanna try the products first, great, well, we're both on the phone. We're gonna give you a quick consultation and get your order going. And then we'll stay in touch. We'll follow up and see when you're ready to join the business, okay? So that's kind of a condensed version of that five-minute video that I did. So, you know, why do I love these three-way calls. It's the third-party validation. It's a social proof. Do you know, 10 years later, you guys, I am still doing three-way calls in my business. And here's the thing. It's not because I can't present it, because I can. I mean, I could do this with, you know, my eyes closed. This is totally second, to, second nature to me by now. But again, I recognize sometimes, you know, it, for example, somebody might connect well to somebody's story, you know, so I want to introduce it to them. Or if they're on the fence, again, that third party validation, that social proof, it gets them off the fence. Or sometimes if it's somebody super close to me and it's awkward for me to ask like, hey, I wanna have you join me, you know, when works to enroll you, somebody can else, else can ask on behalf of me. So if you're new, this is a perfect way for you to learn what to say, to handle those questions, to a answer objections. So ask in your upline, you know, who's willing to do three-way closing calls for me? You know, provided that you give them their first exposure for them to learn more. Invite them to coffee, call, an event, etc. And then, to that three-way call. But here's the thing, people oftentimes ask me, well, how long do you do three-way calls for your team? As long as they want. I have people who have been in the business with me for 10 years. And again, it's not because they can't adequately present the products or uh, promote the opportunity, but they'll still leverage calls with me. Number one, because you know um, my team is more the, the more successful my team is, the more successful I am. So I always want to be available for their income producing activity or their business building activity. But again, it could just be somebody who connects with my story or it helps to get them off the fence. So I always keep my calendar open for those opportunities. Now, a little um, side note, I use a tool, I'm in no way affiliated with them, it's called Time Trade. So, you know, back in the day, I actually used to resent uh, three-way calls and the reason why, I'm gonna be honest with you, is actually scheduling. It was because Oh my gosh, you know, somebody would come to me, hey, can you do this time with this person? Then by the time they went back with that person, their that person's schedule changed or my schedule changed. And I'm like, this is just wasting so much time. So now I use this online scheduler. I will put the times that I'm available. I can take times off. Like for example, if I just want to go have lunch with my son or with my husband, I can take times off too. But they go on, they see my availability for the day, they click the button, and they can fill out a form with their, their contact information. There's even a note section that they can tell me more about their prospect before I get on the phone. So we don't even waste time with that. I'm not like, hey, tell me all about this person, blah, 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 they've already done that on the form. They tell me all of their backgrounds, any objections that those people have going in that I need to know. It's called time trade. Sarah asked, what is it called? It's called time trade. And, um, it's just super, super powerful and um, emails me a confirmation, goes to my phone, gives them a confirmation. They can cancel it via the link. They can reschedule it via the link. So that has saved me so much time too. So that was a time saver for me. Three-way calls are a team builder for me, major. And another time saver for you to keep these super, super brief is not to make this their first exposure, but to make it more of a closing call. And again, you saying instead of, tell me all about you. It's tell me what interests you. Why are we on the call today? And then you tell them your story and then say, you steer the conversation from here. What questions do you have? What would you like to learn more about? You hand handle their questions. You answer the objections and you conquer the close for people on your team. I'm always available for my personal team, the people that I personally sponsored in the business, whether they've been in, in a day or 10 years, it's just an incredible way for me to connect with my team. I wanna share with you a quick story on how powerful these car calls are today before we um, disconnect our broadcast. And by the way, thank you for all of you clicking the share button. I see who you are and I so appreciate it. Um, quick story. So I've got a business partner named Stacy Thayer and Stacy is not only one of the top leaders on my personal team, She's one of the top leaders on a team full of hundreds of thousands of people. Stacy started her business with a 60 hour a week job, a four hour train commute, 
two young children, I think they were both toddlers at the time, and a husband who was deployed. So essentially like being a single parent. Okay, she was the definition of busy. Like when a prospect says like, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this, she was the definition of busy. Now, to make things even more challenging for her, when she started the business, she's like, just so you know, Sarah, I am not going to post on Facebook. Well, now she does, but you know, she didn't back then. So she said to me, how am I going to do this offline and part time? And I told her, we need to start doing three-way calls. You start reaching out to people when they say that they're interested and they wanna learn more, then you plug them into a call with me. I'll explain it. I'll ask them to join you if they're interested in business. We're gonna enroll them. If they're interested in product, we're gonna get them started on the product. So Stacy said, that's great. I've got one hour a day from nine to 10 p.m. at night. Essentially, she built a huge business over bedtime. And I will never forget, shout out to Stacy because she did the hard work. I just matched effort. And every single day from nine to 10 o'clock at night, we did several three-way calls. And then as her team was new and building and duplicating, we actually reached down and we did three-way calls with the organization since everybody was new. And they built and they expanded and they exploded. And today is one of the very top leaders in our entire company, okay? Runs a multi, multi-million dollar organization. Now, when people ask Stacy, what was the key to your fast success? Because by the way, she built fast success her first year. Her first year did what most people don't even do in their career of network marketing. She says the number one tool, especially if you're gonna do it in part-time hours, is three-way calls. So shout out to, to Stacy and Team Inspire who built a massive organization in part-time hours because they duplicated the practice of three-way calls all the way down. So it is a powerful tool. And guys, I wanna share with you, if you've got the book and you wanna revisit it, on page, well, page 68, and I'm trying to see what chapter it is. Well, on page 68, there is literally scripts for three-way calling. It is there, a mock three-way call. If you wanna know like what I say and how it sounds, it's all there, and if you go to page 71, it tells you talking points for how to share your story. And um, it even tells you how to close them on page 73. The next chapter I love in the book, chapter seven, I even highlight my own book, guys. I've taken notes in my own book. It's conquering the close. It is literally how to close people, how to handle questions and answer objections. So there are answers to common objections here uh, in the book, but also on my blog at sarahrobbins.com. Did you guys get value from today? Now tell me, did I change your mind? Are you going to try three-way calls? If you are, comment I'm in below. I wanna see it. Um, Sarah Marble, shout out to my dear friend, Sarah Marble. She's in another company, but a top leader. She said the book is the best training ever and um, that they use it every day for their team. So I just wanna shout out to Sarah and her team because they have just been um, incredible, incredible supporters and are building just incredible organizations too. So shout out below if I've changed your mind, I'm in. All right, if the verdict is still out, then just give me a little question mark and tell me what you'd like to learn more about. Maybe I can help you um, with some of your comments, some of your questions, some of your concerns today. But I am gonna be sharing more on this topic over on my blog today at sarahrobbins.com. If you think this is of value to you or your leaders, go ahead and click the share button and share it on your team Facebook groups as well because um, the more who know, the bigger you grow. Um, I hope today's training helped you guys and um, we will see you over on the blog later today at sarahrobbins.com. Rock on rock stars, have a great day, God bless, and goodbye for now.